Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll be doing an unboxing of a router which is TP-Link Touch P5 AC1900. Now uh, the routers which are AC series, they come after uh, N series and even before that there is to be A, B, G series. Uh, so N series started in 2009 and then the AC series started in 2013. Now the main difference between N series and AC series is that the N series used to be 2.4 gigahertz uh, spectrum. However, uh, starting AC series, it went uh, fully uh, 5 uh, gigahertz frequency. The advantage of 5 uh, gigahertz uh, frequency is that it's uh, it has less interference with uh, other devices such as cordless phone or other electronic devices. So definitely this is a uh, much stronger and better option than the previous uh, series. So now uh, this router is actually a touch uh, screen and uh, this is my first time having a touch screen router. So I'll uh, first uh, do the unboxing and then after that I'll do uh, I'll show you the setup and all sort of stuff. So let's uh, let's start with the unboxing. Okay, so it's still in the box which came from Amazon. I haven't opened it yet, so the router is going to be inside this big box. Okay, so here we cut the big box. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so here's some packing and uh, take this out here and I'll put this here and I'll set aside the big box for now. Let's uh, take a look at the box. Okay, so here is what we have. Uh, let me just bring this closer. Okay, so here are some features. Online gaming and 4K uh, video streaming with the uh, AC technology. Uh, 1900 Mbps combined speed over dual 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band so it can have two different bands uh, control with the tap of a finger uh, which has a touch screen and uh, superior Wi-Fi coverage now if we look here uh, let's look at some other features Okay, USB 3.0 port and multi-purpose router, dual core, one gigahertz CPU, and touch screen, uh, beam forming technology, and all sort of stuff. And let's look on this side of the box. So it says here one minute setup at your fingertips. 
so you should be able to set up uh, using the touch screen in one minute and in terms of ports there's USB 3.0 USB 2.0 and gigabit ports and reset button and on this side of the box it just gives you more feature for example there's guest network uh, then there's effortless touch experience and enjoy powerful home network quick setup device control all sort of stuff okay so let's uh, get going with the unboxing I'll just lower my camera a little bit okay so it looks like this should be okay okay so start start cutting here Okay, so I took off the plastic cover or plastic wrapper and let's see where we should be opening. Okay, so I'll just start from here. Okay, so I took out the router from the outer box, which I'm putting it right here. And the router should be in this box here. Okay, so here, This is the router and I'll just set it aside here for now and let's see what's uh, inside the box. Okay so here we have some small public license notice and here's uh, safety information and product warranty and here's hello touch p5 start here so it's just a uh, Set up instruction uh, for the first time. Frequently asked questions, uh, touch screen display, and what are the icon on the touch screen? And on this side, it's just uh, everything simplified with the more 
illustrations. I'll just set this aside for now. And technical support. So these are just the phone numbers and sort of stuff. And let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay, so it looks like we have, these look like uh, the antenna. And we have a card to connect it to the modem. And this is the power adapter. Connect the router to the power. And that's it in the box, so I'll just put down the box right now. And I'll put this brochure here and set this aside here. And let's open the router itself. Okay, so here is like a Sealed, like sealed envelope and looks like you can just open it this way without using the scissor okay so we were able to take that out and here is the router Okay, so it's, it's a nice looking uh, design and this is the touch screen and here are the connection uh, sockets and buttons. Here's the power, the cable, the internet, ethernet, all sort of stuff. and. On the back, just gives you model number and make all sort of stuff. Okay, so this is the router right here, and what I'll do, I'll just leave it for now, and once I set up the connection, then I'll do the rest of the video. So give me a few minutes and I'll show you once I go through the setup. Hello everyone. So I was able to uh, connect my TP-Link uh, Touch P5 AC900 dual band router with 4.0 touch screen uh, the setup was very simple so I just uh, connected this one here which is the internet connection uh, card so this one goes to the internet uh, connection uh, to the uh, modem which is right here and then I had to just uh, here this is the electric connection and the other part is going to the socket in wall and then I had to connect these uh, three antennas right here. So it's all set. Now what I'll do, I'll just uh, turn on the power button and see what happens. So the power button is actually right... Uh, okay, so it's right here. So let's turn this on. Okay, so I turned on the power button and you can see that uh, the touch screen is starting. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, getting connected because you see there's the button which is going to the, there's the bar which is going to the right side. So it looks like it's doing the setup by itself and there's a blue line here uh, which means that it's electrically connected and there's a button here, looks like a home uh, home button right here 
okay so now administrator password and default password is admin and it's asking for a new password which has to be one two five characters okay so let me try something here I'll just uh, try a new password and I'll just move the camera a little bit for a second okay so I just entered the password and it's asking me to uh, set region so for this we're going to pick uh, Canada which is right here and then done and time zone should be Eastern time zone let me see so here Eastern time US and Canada so pick that right here done and asking to hit the next button so next uh, internet connection type if you're unsure about which internet connection type to select use auto detect okay I'll just uh, choose auto detect because it looks like there's some options here dynamic IP static IP PO P O E I'm not sure what is that so I'll just pick uh, auto detect and it looks like doing something uh, let's take a look here okay so it's asking to hit next after choosing auto detect okay so it says do not change MAC address recommended manual MAC address so select manual MAC address if your service provider allows only specific MAC address okay so I'll just keep it as is which is do not change MAC address recommended next enable 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, network name password okay I'm not sure what password is this because I thought I entered a password before uh, network name let me see oh actually looks like it's giving me an option to uh, pick my network name so I'll just uh, put in a new name which is going to be uh, internet entrepreneur okay so internet e n t r e p r e n e -R. okay so done okay so this is another password uh, looks like this is some sort of default password so I'll just uh, uh, switch it to my own password so I'll just uh, change the password and move the camera for a second okay okay so I entered the password and it says to hit next so the summer is region Canada time zone internet connection uh, we have everything looks like correct and I'll just hit save and it's saving all the settings and it's at 15% so it's just probably take a few seconds 
and so we'll wait until it's completed then I should be able to check the connection on one of my devices uh, devices which I'll do on my cell phone so let's just see what happens here okay so congratulations your setup is complete tap below to test your internet okay let's check it test internet connection okay so it says success so it looks like everything is okay so I'll hit on finish and what I'll do I'll uh, try to check on my phone if I can have this if I get this internet let's take a look here okay I do see an option for internet entrepreneur which I believe is the one I just set up and then the TP link guest which I believe would be this one actually I do several options uh, for the same internet so what I'll do I'll just uh, hit internet entrepreneur and it's asking for a password and I'll just enter the password give me a second here okay so I entered the password obtaining IP address connected okay so looks like it worked just fine and let's try something here okay so this is just uh, one of my website which is uh, entrepreneurjourney.com and it looks like it's working okay so the internet is working for sure and I'll just take a look at here what what else we have here so there's a message uh, let me see what is this number one okay slide to start okay so it's giving the password which I believe is the guest password uh, and then it's giving the guest internet uh, channel so which is a good thing so for example if you have a guest then you can the guest just can you know connect it using by looking at these uh, password and internet channel uh, internet connection and let's see what we have here so we have uh, some buttons here quick setup uh, mode selection wireless setting WPS guest guest network parental control all sort of stuff and then we have here other options reboot and reset screen setting clock okay so what I'd like let's enter the clock and actually it's asking for administration password so just give me a second here I'll put in the password and okay so that's actually a nice feature so what it instead of uh, showing up those manual uh, those buttons you can have the clock and you can have actually looks like probably there's different clocks let's change the clock type so here is one clock and okay let me check the digital one instead of the analog one and see how it looks okay so back back okay so here is the option uh, you can have this clock or the analog clock or you can have one of these uh, screens always displayed or there's an option uh, that if you don't want this to be on all the time you can actually uh, turn this off uh, and then screen has uh, there are other settings like a screen saver start a screen saver after uh, let me see what type of screen saver you have oh okay it's not giving me that option so probably I have to set up something else okay so for now let me just uh, go back to the analog clock I believe that looks better than the digital clock okay so I'll just leave it here at this point so so far uh, everything looks okay and it's very easy to set up you don't need it to connect to any app 
any web page, any uh, anything. Uh, you can do everything from the screen. So that's a very uh, good thing because usually uh, setting up a, a router is a headache. You have to you know connect it to a specific web page uh, based on the web address they would provide, or you have to install the app, or you have to connect it to a computer. So this thing actually can set it up within a within about three four minutes. Uh, although the box says that one minute setup, but you know that's not possible. Uh, you 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 would give it about three four minutes and other setups are very easy so the first impression of uh, this that this is just that this is a very nice looking device if you see the design here uh, right here so it's a very nice looking uh, device and the display can be on or off based on what you want and so far everything looks okay so uh, that's all for now uh, and please keep an eye on this channel and if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing thank you for watching